Joining us now is Esquire, Michael Levine. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Good, what made you go into law? Um, you know, I, that's a really interesting question. I think what made me go into law is that uh, I found it really intellectually challenging when I was in college and I had a uh, professor of law at my undergraduate school that had a profound impact upon my life and uh, he, I guess, steered me that direction and I've been there ever since. You're known as Motorcycle Mike and how did you get that nickname? I think I created that one on my own. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you ride? What do you ride? So I ride a uh, street grind custom, but okay. um, I guess to to give me um, credibility with the motorcycle community was important that I be one of them. So uh, many years ago, uh, against my wife's uh, wishes, I bought myself a motorcycle. This is back in, I guess, 2003 and I've been riding ever since. Lovely. Yeah. So when you say custom, um, is it the paint job that's custom? Does it have a design on it's it? It's a paint job, Okay, yes, what yeah. is it? It's uh, burnt orange is the color. It's a Harley Davidson. It's a big, you know, 800-pound motorcycle, but it's tricked out. Favorite favorite uh, ride that you've been on? Have you been to Sturgis? I've been Do to you... Sturgis. Okay. What a scene. Woo. Anything about, goes in Sturgis. Yes, it does. What about the dragon? Have you ever done the dragon in Tennessee? I have not. Okay, no. that might be good for you. Yeah. You might, you might be may ready. I put that on my list. You might be ready for that. Yeah. Uh, but what we're here to do today is to talk about injury law. Yes. Right? So what is personal injury law? So um, let me just give you a background. My firm has been representing injured people for over 50 years now. And uh, what we do is we represent people in lawsuits against those that have caused them to have personal injury, and we try to get them a level of money so that they are financially comfortable and compensates them for their injuries, compensates them for their loss of income. Um, but that's what we typically do on a day-to-day -day basis. I lost the use of my left arm for a while. You know, uh, I was uh, on a highway, uh, actually, it was years ago with someone that also worked here at the TV studio at the time, and we were hit by a tractor trailer and spun us across the highway, across all the lanes of traffic. Luckily, no one hit us. All right. Well, they, you know, we got hit once, but like not again. But I couldn't, literally, I could, I had no range of motion on my left arm. Completely had no range of motion. To this day, now, I still have like a little creaky creak here, right? right. But that, that's okay, right? right? And so I was compensated for that. But sometimes it can be life changing to be in an accident. It is a lot of Someone times. Someone, yeah. it can be a complete debilitating loss. So, in, I believe that that's why the law is there in order yeah, for protection. The, meaning, the law is to compensate people who are injured due to someone else's negligence or recklessness or carelessness. Yeah, that's what we do. And and like you. I was involved in my own really bad accident a couple of years ago where I was stopped at a red light, literally 100 yards from my office, and somebody hit from me behind doing 60 miles an hour, and I woke up four days later in the intensive care at the Southside Hospital. I had organs removed, numerous broken bones, oh, uh, no. a bleed on my brain. So I'd like to believe that uh, I now really practice what I preach. There you go. You have, it's, so, it gives you a little more empathy. It gives me yeah. a better understanding of what my clients are going through, without a doubt. Yeah, it's so, certainly not yeah. uh, an easy thing to go through. Um, you're joyful and you're really nice, right? How do people kind of find you? Because I feel like when you have a case, you got to match your personality with the person that's doing the fighting for you. Yeah, so... Um, you know, I've been practicing here on Long Island for over 30, now, 30 years now, almost 35 years. So when you do a good job for somebody and you get them a good outcome, the word spreads. Uh, and uh, we've had, my firm has had a wonderful relationship with Long Island for so many years now that a lot of the cases just kind of come in on their own. They, it's self-perpetuating when you are able to to do a good job with for your clients. It helps so, somebody. That helps. What's the first call someone should make when they get when an accident happens, right? Should they always do a police report immediately? So typically if it's a bad accident, the police will respond automatically and there'll be a police report eventually that, that they'll have. Um, I have people that call me 
before they even go to the hospital. I'd say, really? I mean, don't you think she'd be getting checked out before you call a lawyer? It's just, it's not supposed to work that way, right? <laughs> right. right, you're not like don't ambulance get medical chasing. Care. Stop and, worrying right. about a lawsuit right. and getting compensation. Right. That'll come. Get yourself fixed. Get your problems addressed. So when people call me before they've even been to a doctor, it's not the kind of client that I want to represent. They're looking to manipulate the system. I'm looking to get clients who are really hurt Some properly sort of, compensated. Yeah. So, it's good to so know. the first thing they should do is go get checked out yeah. and uh, find out what their problems are, get proper diagnosis, get on a course of treatment, and then when the dust is settled, then you can start doing your homework and looking for a lawyer to represent you. Well, I'm glad you only lost organs that you didn't need. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Yeah. So you're good. You're good yeah. in that case. Uh, it was lovely to meet you. Thank you, you so know, much. And happy journeys to you I always. I really appreciate you're that. You're welcome. Keep and, up the uh, good work. Yeah, what is it? Ride to live and live to ride. So that's that's, that's true. the motto. I always tell everybody, ride safe. Please. Yeah, ride safe. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. You're very welcome. There you go. Motorcycle Mike uh, visiting and chatting it up with us here on the Donna Drake Show. Be well.